What is good, you guys? It's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com, and in today's video, we're going to make a very dark, ambient R&B type beat, something with a vocal, a nice, very deep bass, and some cool drums and percussion. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with a chord progression, and I'm gonna play something like this. Let's see. And I'm probably gonna go back up here. Let's go. <laughs> Completely messed that up, but we went back to our first note, or our second chord, sorry. So just like this, and let's see what this sounds like. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to turn down uh, my root notes and then I'm going to actually invert my second note and I'm probably going to switch this. Let's see what it sounds like transposed. And then let's turn down a couple of these velocities. They got pretty loud. So this should sound good in exhale. So we're going to use exhale actually next for a vocal, which is going to be really cool and it's going to sound amazing. So I'm just going to copy this chord progression over to exhale, solo it, and then we'll let's listen to what this sounds like. I think I like that. Let's see what else. All right, I like how that sounds. So let's copy this over like this. And on the piano, let's turn it down a tiny bit. And I'm going to call this vocal. I'm going to link both of these to uh, the mixer. So let's go over here. And on the vocal, what I'm going to actually do is cut out a little bit of this top end. Kind of want it to be a bit darker. We'll remove some of the low end as well. Uh, let's put a reverb and delay on it. So pretty big reverb. Open this up a tiny bit. And then let's get a delay. And we're going to do like a quarter note delay, which will sound really good. And let's go like this. And on this key, I want to get rid of the high end too and the low end. It's kind of just like a filler in the back. Cool. Now let's add some notes to uh, this chord progression we have with keyscapes. All right, that sounds good. Let's run with that. Next thing we're gonna do is throw like a bass in this and it's really going to give this vocal and this piano the vibe that we wanna get. All right, so let's lay down the root notes and see if we like that. We'll probably end up changing it, but let's just see what it sounds like. All right, next let's add an instance of Omnisphere and probably get some type of guitar. We'll throw a delay on it, make it sound really cool. So this guitar will work fine. Let's label this guitar and throw it in the mixer. 
And the first thing I'm going to do right away, because I know exactly how I want this to sound, is load in probably, I'm going to say a quarter note. We might go with an eighth or half, but let's just see what this sounds like first. And it's going to be with a lot of delay. And then cut out some of the highs and lows. I really like this guitar to be dark. All right, now let's add some notes. Super loud. Let's turn it down. See what it sounds like following the uh, bass line. All right, so I have a lot of drums loaded in. I do have a lot of percussion in here. So this is, I like to add a lot of percussion to these type of beats. So we're gonna get very creative. So let's start, let's see what we have. So we'll see over here, we have a lot of this percussion going on. I first wanna start with this vocal, let's see. I like this low tone of it, I like this. Let's just add that in, I have this play right here. And uh, we're actually gonna link that into the mixer, cut out a little bit of this low end, not too much, I like how it sounds, and add a longer reverb to it so it has a longer tail. We'll just go like this, this will sound cool. Let's see what other percussion we have. So let's add in a hi-hat. We'll put the hi-hats in and then we'll go in and adjust them, but let's get the hi-hat and the uh, snares running. Cool, and this open hat, we're actually going to do the same. We're gonna actually, well, we would link it to the same one, but then later I'm gonna end up changing it. So let's put it to our own mixer track, uh, its own mixer track, wow. And then space it out. And this is another thing, like I said, a lot of this is gonna be reverb and EQ, and it's just adding ambience to it. What else we have? And actually, hmm, let's see, actually go like this. I just want it over here, and we don't need to loop that. down see what this sounds like cool, that sounds good Let's see This one to play on every other. Sounding good so far. Put a kick down for now, just on the downbeat, like this. Now 
let's go get into these hi-hats and spice them up a little bit. So let's put it to a uh, third step. And let's see what we could do. All right, now let's go into the kick and let's get a groove going with the kick. So let's see, turn up the velocity a little bit. Let's go back to cell like this. Let me turn my headphones down for I would destroy my ears. When we ghost the kicks, meaning having the velocity a bit lower before the next kick, um, if you were to take a snare and go that, 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 the middle small uh, quiet notes are actually ghost notes. So we're going to do that with the kick. We're going to ghost the kick. Listen to our drums by themselves so far. I have a lot of groove tone, which I love. All right, so I like how this sounds. I would actually leave this very open for the artist. So we're actually gonna split this down and I'm kind of gonna arrange it and then we'll go from there. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. You can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my site, lifestyledidit.com, for everything else. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. Push notifications. Thanks.